Hi there. Today I'm going to talk about how you can tune and use our motion profile generator engine, which works based on SD curve technology in speed mode. So basically, I'm going to show you how you can create smooth velocity profiles for your system to have low jerk or, or low vibration and how you can tune your system for that. The assumption I'm having in this video is that you've already set up your system. You've calibrated your encoder here. I'm having a brushless AC motor and I've calibrated the encoder. We have many videos about that. You can watch them on our YouTube channel or our website. And right now I'm not going to talk about it. The only thing I'm going to focus on is how you can actually uh, tune the profile of the sticker in time based manner. So if I go to the tuning section of the motion terminal, I can come here and I can select the the motion profile that I'm interested in uh, to time-based SD curve. I'm in a speed mode, so uh, this is what will happen. You will see a, a two parameters to tune for you appearing here. It's the time of segment one and three and segment two. But to understand it for now, I'm going to put two values here just to show what happens. So basically, you can see uh, this is basically what I'm trying to make. So the motion terminal is creating for me a hypothetical uh, velocity profile in which I can control the behavior by having control over three segments. So I'm having segment one, two, and three. And here I can define the timings of the segment one and three and segment two. So segment two is the period that happening here and segment one and three are the landing or take off uh, segments. So basically if I reduce this timing to one, you see that I'm going to have a bit faster uh, takeoff and faster landing. And if I increase it, I'm going to have a, uh, a slower takeoff and landing. And then the same can happen here. The most interesting part is this. Once I define the timings in terms of second, the total time will be always the sum of uh, all these segments timing. So basically I've defined two seconds for each segment. So I'm gonna have six seconds of uh, timing from the initial velocity to the target velocity. For instance, here I can see the simulation target velocity for me is set at 500 RPM. If I increase it to 1000 RPM, I can see the difference. Again, here you can see the timing stays exactly the same. So if I go relatively, from 0 RPM to 1000 RPM, it's going to take 6 seconds for me. So this is the plot that I'm seeing, and it looks good to me. The, uh, the parameters I set here, they are looking fine for now. So if I send all these uh, parameters to, uh, to the firmware of Solo, I can actually go down and test them. So I put Solo in uh, monitoring mode. I'm having an eye on the velocity profile. So the motor now is stopped. and now here, I'm going to put a speed reference of 1000 RPM. And I'm going to see how the motion evolves. So you can see, actually, I went from 0 RPM to 1000 RPM in one direction very smoothly. I can go to 2000 RPM, so relative uh, difference of 1000 RPM from where, where I am now. And again, it goes very nicely up and lands on 2000 RPM, I can change the direction right away and see what happens. So I'm going to go from negative 2000 to positive 2000. And here you can see uh, it went from negative 2000 to positive 2000 very smoothly. I can go back to zero RPM. And this is what's happening actually. So I'm having these uh, very nice and beautiful transitions. If I'm going to have these transitions also a bit maybe a smoother or uh, lengthier in terms of time, I can increase the timings of this one, for example, to five seconds. So it's going to take more time for the landing and uh, take off. If I set it, I can, uh, to understand this better, maybe I uh, clear the monitoring. I set a new reference. This time I set a 1000 RPM again, so the motor starts to move, but this time it's moving very slowly because it takes a relatively high amount of time compared to previous profiles to reach the target. So you can see 
I'm at 1000 RPM and this is the profile. So if I just change the timing of the section one and three again, so to compare these two, and I go back to zero RPM, you will see the second uh, profile will be a bit faster. And here is the difference. So look, the first profile on the left was generated with slower, uh, let's say, uh, timings and let's say lengthier timings. And the second profile was generated with faster timings. And you can see the result. So on the left one, I'm having smoother or let's say slower takeoff and landing. And the other one is completely reversed. So it depends on you how you want to tune your timings to have the best set of motion for your application. Thank you so much. I hope this video could help you. Please subscribe to our channel to stay tuned.